let's talk about a lot of things trending on social media most of which have trended and now they are trying to relax a lot of issues trending out on social media we need to talk about it ranging from uh, the story of sophia momodu and davido we got the story of um, you know root boy buying a range rover for his new wife and that is also a big interesting story to an extent because a lot of people are trying to make out some kind of unique stories out of that but i need to let you know that we should allow these young couples to actually have a big time to themselves and enjoy their lives root boy is no longer married to you know anita okoye according to you know the case in court uh, according to declarations and the rest but now he decided to get married to a younger woman and this time around he is getting to show love in a unique way to this younger woman that is one thing i kind of understand which you allow them to have a big time to themselves buying a range rover spot for this lady is really an interesting one it splashed millions of naira to buy that car and a lot of people are really commending root boy on that what are your own takes about this story according to root boy he said you know what <laughs> this is a baby push gift and that is for you you have to push my baby clean that is what it is root boy is expecting a baby from ivy that is a big one right now talking about the case of uh, davido and uh, you know sophia momodu i think that was really interesting last week and a lot of people did came out to support you know the adele case on that particular story why some other people were really against davido that is something i kind of understand but when you check how sophia momodu went around the story when uh, uh, around the case you will get to understand that she escalated a lot of things and that was really really needless to an extent yes revealing the uh, whatsapp messages and conversation she had with davido's father who is a private man to an extent i think it was really embarrassing for the man and the family to an extent and a lot of people did came out to condemn sophia momodu on this and she didn't learn from that she went ahead to start you know dragging the family and the rest and people were saying that sophia momodu all right now oh tito that is what a lot of people actually came out to tell sophia momodu but right now it seems like she has realize a lot of things and now relaxing it but she don't talk with it she don't talk and those things are going to haunt her for a very long time she really indicted israel in the whole story when israel came out to defend his oga and his oga's family and posted something about that on social media you know what sophia momodu did she posted an old video of israel you know where she was warning israel and that was long enough and a lot of people could really understand that she was trying to indict israel in the whole story but i kind of understand that that davido has actually gotten married to um choma and nothing sophia can do about it some people are feeling that sophia is bitter about the marriage why would she get pregnant for davido as a teenager and then she was really older than davido she was already an adult who is ripe for marriage at that point and got pregnant for a teenager that is really really insulting and embarrassing at the time because if i happen to be davido's father at that time i would be like wait to be this one now all those kind of things i won't see sophia momodu in that time as somebody who is responsible i think those things must have affected sophia momodu to an extent uh in the relationship she has with davido and the adelegates and she made it worse by sharing a lot of things on social media that is what it is remember that davido filed for child joint child custody and that was really of it and somehow sophia was supposed to just file in court and forget about social media justice and the rest but she exposed a lot of things on social media which many people condemned sophia on i think now she is getting to realize this and that is something a lot of people are getting to see on social media right now you need to actually understand that uh, a person of imadi will become adult someday and will see all of this the activities or the actions of his dad and his mom on social media she may not be really excited and happy about all of this and that 
is going to affect her psychology to an extent. That is one thing a lot of people are really talking about at a time like this. Sophia Momodu went ahead to really involve her individual uh, lesson if I in that story and that actually hurt the video and Choma to an extent. They decided to leave child custody for Sophia Momodu, believing that when Imadi grows old or when she's old enough, she will come back to the family of Adeleke to an extent and look for her father. What is your own take about all of this? I want you to put that in the comment section so that you can talk about it further because a lot of people are really responding to this story and this story is getting loud at the end of the day. What is your own take? What is your own big story around this? Put that in the comment section so that you can talk about it. Right now, let's talk about Afrobeat, the growth and the evolution of Afrobeat. This is fast happening in Nigeria. We have some sub genres in Afrobeat in Nigeria like the Afro Rave of Rema right now, getting to sound Indian, Arabian and topping the chart at the end of the day became the first nigerian artist to get invited by the ambani's family in india the richest the billionaires family in india and that he pocketed three million dollars that is about 4.7 billion era that is a huge sum and a big number he did his rendition or performance within 30 minutes and this guy went home with three million dollars it's a big figure for me and it's a big win remember that rema has actually dropped a new album called his and that album is getting a lot of attention at the end of the day a lot of people are responding to this album and that is getting really really interesting at the end of the day what are your own takes about that when he dropped that album he got negative reviews of the, that album and a lot of people were really giving thumbs down to Rema on that album. Not until like few hours, Rema got a record breaking uh, you know, stream with that album on Spotify. 2.71 million streams on Spotify. That was really a big number for Rema at the end of the day. What are your own takes? Put your own takes in the comment section so that we can talk about it further. Right now, Charlie Poppy is a fast rising Nigerian artist and this guy is mending and you know, having some great relationships with a lot of foreign artists out there and this is going to count for Charlie Poppy big time. That is what a lot of persons are really saying at a time like this. This guy was at the UK's wireless festival with the likes of Rema performed on stage alongside his younger brother Zeridiel and these guys gave a scintillating performance of Beanie Boys. That was a beautiful rendition. That was a beautiful win for Edu Boys in the UK. I think we have to commend these guys for winning for us. What are your own takes about the story? I want you to put that in the comment section so that we can talk about it further. What do you believe about the future of Afrobeat in Nigeria? Put it in the comment section so that we can talk about it further. Before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. I love you guys. Keep supporting Afrobeat blog across social media platforms.